So this one is going to be about gill flukes. What a pain. Um, I'm sure they're in here. I'm sure they're in most tanks. I'm not quite sure how they got in here, but I cannot get rid of them. Um, you can treat them with stuff. There's tons of medicines around. Things like that. Um, that's another one. There, there's loads. Um, different chemicals in them all work slightly differently. None of them seem to solve the problem and my theory is on that. There's some snails in here. Apparently they hide the parasites. All of my gravel, I say gravel, sand, means the medication can't work properly because there's eggs and possibly flukes hiding in the sand. I don't know if the medication can get it. And then of course I've got a lot of plants. So I think, as I can't get rid of them, I'm gonna put this tank as a bare bottom tank with nothing in it. I'm then gonna treat it, and this, this is from the experts, this advice, once a week for six weeks um, with a different medication each time because they can become resistant if you use the same one over and over and over and over again. That's basically what I've done. I want them gone. I'm gonna do anything I can to get rid of them. Um, so we're gonna strip this tank back to being almost empty apart from the fish. And then they've got six weeks of medicine. And if I've got flukes after that, I don't know what I'm gonna do because they're really annoying. I mean, look at the state of his gills. That is a good sign that there are fluke problems. See where they're extended? You can't quite see, can you? You can just see the gills extending outside of the covers. He's doing it too. This one the other day had one gill working, one gill really wide. And where's the other guy who's got problems? That one there. Um, can you see? No, he needs to turn around. Um, but yeah, they'll go quiet, they'll hide. Um, they'll have one gill working, one gill not working. They'll flick off the decor. They'll flap their fins like something's irritating them. Um, here he comes. So on the outside of his gill, you can see that kind of extended bit of gill coming out. I think that's damage where there's just been permanent gill flukes going on in this tank for quite some time. So I've had enough. I'm gonna see if getting rid of the gill flukes causes some of the other problems. Um, but this tank is going to be gill fluke free, I'm determined, even if it looks pretty naff for six weeks. So we're going to strip this down, take all the stuff out, we're going to treat it, we might even PP the tank, um, that should get rid of some stuff too. Um, so watch this space for more info. Um, it seems to me that the instructions on the packet, they tell you to treat them once. It's never going to work. The gill flukes lay eggs, the medicine doesn't kill the eggs. As soon as the eggs hatch, the gill flukes are back and you have to treat them again. It doesn't tell you the timing on the treatments. Um, so the theory being, I think six weeks every week, anything hatching gets killed. If that's laid an egg, next week that gets killed until they're all gone. And then after that, it's extremely strict quarantine of what goes in here, including the plants. We're even gonna try and trap the snails. So the snails are gone. So watch this space, I'll keep you updated. But the flukes have got to go. Um, must be awful for these fish. It's winding me up too. I'll let you know how we get on. So there we go. Decor's removed. Substrate's removed. Plants are removed. They can keep that bit of wood. But they do look lonely and a bit stunned. But we'll give it six weeks every week. <laughs> Fluke solve. Um, possibly something else. For six weeks. And then we will see if the flukes come back. Much cleaner in there though. Um, less places for dirt to hide. We're also gonna get the snails out if we can. So there's a snail trap down there. We'll see how well that gets on. Don't know how good it'll be. It's difficult to see because he's right in the way. Um, we'll see how that goes. But the snails are going too. Let's go very clean.